Hello everyone and welcome back to my Hard Career Mode series in Kerbal Space Program 1.0.2 as live streamed on Twitch. This is an edited for YouTube version of the stream from May 9th and without further ado let's get to my live commentary from that day. So hello everybody and we are going to be proceeding with career mode as planned and I have an idea of what I want to be doing. So one thing, the first thing I want to do is I want to pick up some sort of adapter that'll connect my 1.25 meter uh, rocket parts to my 2.5 meter rocket parts because uh, that wasn't looking particularly good last time. The plan for today is we're going to continue building up funds to unlock the VAB. We, we just have barely enough but it's too close a margin obviously if we don't have uh, if we try and spend it now, we'll, we won't have enough for a launch. Uh, other than that, uh, we have a plan a flag on Mimus and plan a flag on the moon. So uh, we've already planted a flag on the moon, so we'll probably go for Minmus first. But first I want to flesh out the, the rocket I've got. The lander I've got has uh, 1.25 meter to 2.5 meter. Uh, how is the stream going out? I assume Mayan says that oh there's some drop frames hold on my computer's cooling down right now uh, it should be alright soon but uh, it just got finished rendering a video uh, so um, yeah actually converting a video it's converting it was converting a video that I'll be editing later so that uh, it's it's a little bit overheated you can probably maybe hear the fan running Okay, it doesn't look like we have any of the 1.25 meter fuel tanks, uh, the, the conic fuel tanks. All we've got is this adapter. Uh, the benefit of this is that we'll also pick up struts, so I guess I might as well get this. And of course, uh, launch stability enhancers. Though I've heard, yeah, I don't know, uh, I've been hearing a lot of uh, word that the launch stability enhancers have weird glitches appearing in the, mi in the middle of flight, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But the first thing is that. Do both in one go, that would be cool. Well, um, well, we'll go to Minmus first, and then if we have the fuel, we'll see. Uh, let, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll go with that. If it, if it, uh, actually, it'll be a little bit more reliable to go to the moon first and then Minmus. But then I really wanted to go to Minmus first. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I might as, might as well uh, get struts. We don't have enough... Uh, part count to actually use struts right now, but might as well get them. Uh, I'll save the rest of the cash for now. All right, uh, you get the launch clamp thing almost every launch now. Oh, that's worrisome. I don't want to see. Uh, I don't want to see any weird bug. Let's face it. Okay, so it was the Delta rocket, I think, that we wanted to. Yeah, yeah, this stupid little. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna slip a little adapter here for my own sensibility um, still looks a little bit weird but it worked right that's the important thing it worked and we're still under part count so what I would like to do is maybe a few more solar panels would be wise okay th that all worked out we can reduce the amount of a blader I mean, a hundred is still more than enough. Uh, that that will save us some room. And how about I put extra solar panels on the side here? Elegant now, kind of. Not. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call this elegant by any stretch of the imagination. At least it works. Where do we want to land? I. I want. I'm. I'm landing on Minmus. If you want to pick a biome, that's fine. Uh, probably more than one biome, right? We'll do, we'll do some hopping around in this. Um, speaking of which, uh, maybe since we have some part count room, maybe we should add a ladder. Maybe that's... Uh, do we have ladders? No, we don't have ladders, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so no ladders. Civilian answer. Uh, it's annoying that adding these to your account says weight, thus forcing you to make your rocket lighter. Uh, well, I've got, I've got plenty of room there. The problem is, I, A, I don't want the glitch, and B, uh, it's not really a good use of part count. But I'm, I'm, in, I'm actually interested to see the glitch, uh, sort of, uh, just out of curiosity. Actually, this way would be better. Um, 
So yeah, let's try and recreate that glitch everybody's been having. Let's see if it happens if I put the launch stability enhancers on. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it actually counts as mass. Yeah, it does. That is silly. Now, who are we sending up? Well, definitely not Bill. Uh, looks like uh, Valentino will be good for the next one. All right. So yes, let us. Oh, okay. well, I, I should have considered putting fins, maybe, or not a reaction wheel. But we don't have a reaction wheel that'll fit, right? We only have this tiny one. I think it will be fine. All right, save and launch. All right, here we go, Valentina. Um. Okay, so far so good. Watching out for that clamp glitch. So we can plant flags, we've unlocked that. We can do EVAs, of course. And, uh... But we, we are still limited to two missions. That is a thing. And 30, 30 parts. That is also a thing. We have patched conics, but not maneuver nodes. We still tend to be pushed a little bit to the south as we launch. That might be because of asymmetries in the way I place things on the pod. And I'm not too bothered, we'll correct that uh, once we're past the thick part of the atmosphere. So yeah, somebody mentioned it. I have linked my uh, Twitch to my Twitter. So in theory, when I, when I stream, it should send a message to my Twitter account. I'm just Tyler Rays on Twitter. I've, I've rebranded my account so that uh, it's it's space stuff and uh, just space stuff and uh, notifications when I post a video or go live on Twitch so since somebody had asked me to do that I have done so now once all the realism overhaul stuff gets updated I'm thinking about maybe because I've got the realism overhaul point nine zero series right now which is a career series and I've already uh, promised to do uh, another career series in 1.0 but I might just live stream that, uh, and not just live stream that. I mean, live stream it and then uh, produce videos from the live streams, as I've been doing for this series. So I will consider that as well, because that'll be, you know, the beginning part of that career as well. And on the bright side, the frame rates won't be too bad with the smaller rockets. Hi, M. Forrester. Okay, here we go. Actually, we can tone that down a little bit, and we're probably co close to coasting here. Among the things I've been doing in Sandbox, I have a successful space shuttle. And a space shuttle without any engine on the external tank. So, thanks to the new gimbling on the skipper engines, uh, the space shuttle now works as intended. I haven't made it to look exactly like the space shuttle, because everybody does that, and EJ is the best at that, so I'm not gonna tread on that uh, territory but uh, mines has numerous other benefits first of all it can maneuver and it can fly in the atmosphere just fine it's not a flying brick uh, it also carries quite a lot of cargo so I'll be showing that off in the sandbox EDB series when I get the chance And I might use it to help build a station. And of course, once we're far enough in this career, we can just uh, toss the same craft in here and use it too. I'm sort of glad I decided to do some stuff in Sandbox while also conducting this career series. Otherwise, I wouldn't uh, get enough practice with new parts like the resource system and all that. Uh, so I've been playing around with that. I've built a little rover for for uh, drilling on Minmus or the moon. Okay, so, yep, we can target Minmus. 4.1 degrees. Yeah, it's about time to launch, uh, to head out to Minmus. So this is a good timing. Okay, so, uh, perhaps a little bit south will help correct our inclination just a little bit. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, in my uh, Sandbox CDB uh, series episode two, I I have a recoverable launcher. I just haven't been able to bring it back to the to the space center. So yeah, I've I've got one. Uh, worked out just fine. Uh, no need for heat shielding. Uh, one point oh point two, of course. So uh, that is a mainsail engined recoverable launcher. One mainsail engine. Uh, carries about uh, 9 to 10 tons to orbit and then returns. Okay. Uh, too much. I'm looking for a slightly large one, but the main thing is to try and figure out how to get it back to the space center properly. Uh, so I landed it in the ocean and it, it survived that. It, so it can do a splashdown and survive. But that's not really legit, of course. Well, this is not the right place to tweak inclinations, so uh, I'll take this. We'll get to that height, 1,250 kilometers or so, and we'll just correct it in the sphere of influence. It looks like a polar sort of situation, which is fine. It'll allow us to pick our landing spot. Okay, so making sure that our mission is properly oriented for solar panels to function. Uh, it's showing me the moon encounter instead of the Mimis encounter as it does. Typical little thing that does. Uh, you know this, this is pretty high for a Mimis encounter. I sure hope it's, it wasn't messing with me before. Okay there we go. All right, so no maneuver nodes. We'll uh, we'll bring it in. We'll bring it in directly, and then we'll have Val hop around on Mimus. Okay, solar panel. All right. Okay, here we go for Mimus orbit. Polar orbit in this case. We haven't I, I, we haven't done many EVAs around Mimus. So we need to do those. Okay, that's the end of that stage. Okay, well we're right on the Terminator, which is what I, I hate most. Uh, we'll have to fix our incline. Oh, uh, fix our longitude of ascending node, technically. Okay, let's tilt this thing. Up, oh, uh, not that much in, just a little bit in. Make sure periapsis isn't too low, and I guess I, I forget exactly where we've done EVAs. So as long as we've got, yeah, we've got on the lit side here. Let me get ready for Valentina pop out. Okay, slide down, slide down. Oh, uh, joke based on asteroid names. Up, oh, didn't get that one. Okay, we're still high over Mimis at 32 kilometers. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, board. Uh, so let's bring the orbit in tighter then, because we're pretty much, we're, we're going to be high over Mimis at this altitude anyway. Forgot what high over Mimis counted as. Slide down a bit, not too far. Nope, there's lowlands. Are you sure they're poles? Because would figure, well, maybe we've got an inclination that doesn't quite hit the poles, actually. I don't know. Well, if this isn't uh, going to hit the poles, I'm not going to try and correct it. Okay, uh, but let's see what we haven't hit before. Probably not much. If we've hit lowlands, uh, if we've hit this body before, I think we've done the EVAs in orbit then. Yeah, great flats. Okay, I think we've done the EVAs. So let's just bring uh, bring Valentina down. I guess probably these great flats will be the first place, and then we could probably do shores and something like that close by. So I'll have Valentina go around, and then we'll start our descent burn. EVA to both the flats and the shore biome by landing on the edge. Well, we shall see. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna force the land. Well, we'll see. 
Seems sort of a shame not to just set down here. We're so close to the surface. Uh, anyway, but uh, we'll we'll head on. Okay, there's our great flats. Um. Yeah, uh, well, that that's that's how uh, a good descent pass should look. I uh, don't often do that on Minmus. It's more common on larger bodies, obviously. Um, I don't think we can land on the shore here anyway. Could possibly end up over there, though. Maybe just close to the shore, not not directly on it. Let's see. Yeah, so that's that shore over there. Okay, well, we're coming down around here. I thought these... I thought this shore would be a little bit gentler, but it doesn't look like it. I, you're kidding, right? Kill Valentina on Minmus? I'd have to... I'd have to stop streaming and... <laughs> How do you calculate suicide burn? Well, you can cal calculate it straight down. The problem is the horizontal part. Uh, you can. Uh, it's easy to calculate if all you're calculating is the vertical part of it. The reason why the horizontal part of it is complicated is because of the curvature of the planet. Oh, are you trying to distract me or no? I don't know. Uh, Philippers has uh, has made a little smiley face there. The other other trick is that we don't know the height of the surface though the flats generally are at zero so uh, it's a simple distance equation now you have to know the gravity of minimus and your existing speed and then you just use the distance equation um, yeah so velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared equals distance or change in distance. Okay, there's the ground. Such as it is, the frozen whatever it is of Minmus. Okay, there we go. Alright, so. Oh, okay. Okay, flippers. Alright, so, uh, right, so we can observe mystery goo. I observe the goo. Okay, keep data. Well, actually, Valentina observes the goo, perhaps. Uh, where is my thermometer? Darn it, the downside of having this side facing the dark. Okay, wow, we actually, uh, we had it on a probe, right? Okay, so, uh, Valentina can emerge, and I'll have to have her let go, I think. Don't knock too far. Stop knocking into the pod. Okay, right. Now, our contract was to plant a flag, so let's do that. Touchdown, yes. Okay, so. Valentine. Ah, that's not that. No. Abort typing of name. Valentina on Great Flats. And as is usual, the date and uh, what? First of many hops. One small hop for a Kerbal. Anyway, uh, alright, keep that data. We'll get that EV report back up. Hopefully, without knocking the pod, Valentina, now. Uh, back off, back off. Every hop is like a huge distance for them. What's now the most effective engine ISP in vacuum besides nuclear? Um, I think it's the Poodle, right? Poodle's at uh, 350. Uh, 
Okay. Store experiments. Crew report? By the way, uh, yeah, oh, EVA report here. Uh, we've, we've already got that. Okay. Um, yeah, well, let's actually, uh, let's quickly do a crew report while we're here. Yeah. Keep that data. All right. Now let's, let's just have her hop on over to the shore. LV-909 has 345. The Poodle has 350. Come on, just flop. Wow, we're, we're just sort of floating up here, waiting, waiting. Come on, forward, forward, forward. Just in case we don't make this. Yeah, nope, this way. Just in case we don't make the shore. Valentina is just showing off. Well, she's sure taking our time here. So actually, our uh, our other probe is just 35 meters, uh, 35 kilometers, sorry, away. Now, is this still sh slopes shores or something, or are we further inland than I wanted to be? No, 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 no. Okay. All right. So uh, EVA misses slopes. Yes. Keep data. All right. Well. Uh, that, I, I don't want to do more EVAs here because uh, we have to always go back to the pod. That was a full kilometer away. Jeez. EVA while flying? Uh, there's no point. We've, we've gotten all the biomes already and we can't keep more than one EVA at a time. So uh, yeah, we, we've gotten the biomes, you see, uh, from uh, close to Minmus, near uh, in space near Mimnus. Darn it, it's really dark now. Oh sure, turn off the little distance indicator. Oh, crud, 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 crud. Okay, good. Alright, hop on over there. Come on. Grab and board. Alright, so that's stowed. I think we should aim for somewhere with a little bit more light. Um, how about we go west and hit this area here? Everyone's favorite mod, remote tech uh, for, for a number of people, wow. Favorite mod. Environmental visual enhancements. <laughs> I mean, clouds. I mean, it's it's not a it's not a huge deal. It's not a functional thing, but I think clouds. Clouds was a good idea. Okay. Um, yeah. Let let let's go uh, west. Um, going uh, going west simply because there's light there. I hope there's some new biome here. Uh, actually, yeah, I guess we'll land somewhere here. Maybe that valley is a good place. We'll land at the border. I don't know if they're two different things. I hope so. Now, functional mods. My favorite functional mod is procedural fairings. <laughs> uh, even with the new fairings, I suppose. It's just necessary. I mean, it, it was necessary for so long that I still have respect for it. It's, it's grown on me. Uh, aside from procedural fairings, uh, probably, uh, probably ferrum aerospace. Probably ferrum aerospace. That slope that we're aimed at right now looks a bit dangerous. I will aim a little bit further than that. Let's go there instead. Far was just updated. Yep, yeah, I noticed. And it's a big update. Very, very important update. Now I just need uh, procedural wings or B9 procedural wings to get updated because I want to play around with with designs that are more in tune with what I'd like to see. 
Your favorite mod is Mule Soul System? Yeah, that's, uh, that's important, obviously, for a lot of things that I do. But, uh, of course, real, uh, real Soul System wouldn't even be particularly useful without Fair Mirror Space. Uh, the, the stock aerodynamics with Real Soul System would be really horrible. Plop. Okay, settle down. Yeah, okay, so uh, we should be able to EVA. Uh, let's just double check that this one's been done, yeah. Uh, so I want to grab the, let's just take all the data, let's uh, board, let's do a new crew report, keep data, okay. So now uh, we have a goo container, right? Observe mystery goo. Okay, uh, has anybody tried that? I saw, I saw crispy bacon uh, trying out scatter or using scatter. I'm afraid it'll kill all my frame rates, frankly. Keep data, yep, lowlands feel like a superhero. Okay, so the question is whether this is another biome here, and I guess we can... Uh, what do you think, Valentina? Can you head out for that area? This is going to take a little bit of time, folks, but uh, next thing is just landing on the, just landing on the moon. Uh, we won't get, uh, use Valentina for that. Why didn't I take a materials bay experiment? Because I'm still worried about the darn thing flipping over in the middle of the atmosphere. Come on, I lost Jeb by taking a materials bay and trying to recover it. You think I'm going to be quick about uh, doing that again? No, I think the materials bays are going to have to be... going to have to be uh, unmanned, uncurbled. Okay, uh, let's pick up speed here. It doesn't look like this is as close as I thought it was. How far away are we? We've already covered a kilometer here. Hmm. This might be dangerous terrain to have Valentina st step out on. I'll have to find some sort of flat ground. Wow, look at that. Okay, face this way, Valentina. Hmm. Well, it, it's not too bad. I wonder if it's a different biome, though. Yeah, this, this is real scenic. Can't quite see the ground. If I turn on her lights, still, it doesn't shine on the ground or anything. Well, Valentina's really being adventurous here, I think. Is definitely uh Oh that that makes the slope look worse. Oh boy. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, went down too quickly. Uh oh Valentina, come on. Uh oh. Ah oh. okay Valentina, tell me you're okay. Resilient Kerbal that you are. She's still rolling. You can check biome in mid middle air. Well, uh, we're not in middle air right now. We're tumbling. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Okay. Okay. We've got. We've got attitude. Con no, we don't. We're just rolling around. EV report. Uh, Midlands. Oh, I didn't steal the previous one. That's fine. Uh, okay, jet up. Just just go vertical, vertical, please. Uh, come on, Valentina. Oh man, she's just tumbling all the way down. She ah, ouch. Oh, come on. Is there brakes? <laughs> can we? Can we? Ah, uh, it's too much of a slope. It, Oh, okay. Uh, up, 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 up. Come on. Go up. All right, all right. We got her. Okay. Okay, fist face this way and just slowly rise up here. 
All right, all right. Can check my arm in midair. Oh, you mean with the EVA report? Yeah. Well, brakes worked, darn it. Can't argue with that, right? Eventually. <laughs> press R. Yeah, I did press R. I pressed R many times. <laughs> uh, she's getting a good view now. Just don't get... Uh, don't run out of EVA propellant, otherwise you're not going to get back into the pod here. Okay, so I think I overwrote the EVA report from close to Delta 1. And that's fine. We'll stow this one and then we'll get another EVA report as long as it's different. Let's see. It says Midlands. I, I don't... I think this was something different, but I'm not sure. I don't remember properly. Okay, despite new aerodynamics adding lifting body, it doesn't show in uh, show it at the VAB markers. Uh, the V the VAB markers have been giving me a lot of trouble. When I was trying to build my shuttle, the center of thrust was totally off. Uh, of course, you have to tilt the engines on the orbiter, and uh, that was not showing the correct center of thrust there. Uh, so at least center of thrust was definitely off. I don't know about the... I, I wouldn't be surprised if the other ones were off as well. She's rather high over Mimis right now. There she is. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's, that's, a, that's a shot for the books. Unfortunately, I don't think my screenshot... I don't even know which screenshot key I've got assigned. Actually, I had a F10, F11, F12 assigned to uh, recording and screenshots. So once they put those overlays on, I had to assign them to different things. And the only one I remember is the one for recording and fraps, which is uh, now F8. Sorry for taking so much time on this, but at least the view's good. Enough cash to upgrade Mission Control or VAB? Well, mission control is easy. It's the VAB that, uh, no, the other way, the other way, that I might have trouble with. Let's see now. Is this the right side? Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, this is not the right side. Um,. All right, so we stored that EVA. Uh, we need to EVA again to uh, make sure we get the one from here. Okay, Lowlands, keep data. Okay, R. All right. All right, I think, uh, let's go home. I think this is good enough to go home. Um, for some reason I had caps lock on during this and so now if I take it off I've got fine controls. I don't need fine controls right now. Uh, let's just get her off of the surface and on her way back home. Okay, so uh, here we go on the return. I don't think we have enough for the moon, and so by extrapolation, I don't think we have had enough for going to the moon and then landing on Mimis as well. Oh, actually, there was a moon encounter there, but uh, we're, we were talking about landing on the moon, not uh, just encountering it. Uh, there's another moon encounter. It's really, it's really trying for me, for me here, but uh, I'm going to pass. Okay, so uh, we're still doing air braking tests. We're still not sure exactly what's going on. Okay, yes, thank you, Kenny, for the cake. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess we are all having cake now. So we'll see how 35 brings us down. It'll, I mean, of course, we'll still be in orbit around Kerbin. Either that or we'll be brought directly down to the surface. So either way, it's fine. Uh, Valentina will be fine, I assure you. Okay, so back to Kerbin. Brownies. I was going to break brownies today, actually. I'm short on snack foods. 
I've got a box, a uh, brownie mix box, just sitting waiting for me to make them. Ah, you know what? I think we'll be uh, we'll be approaching on daylight side this time. That's a rarity. Usually it uh, gets me on night time. Pretty pretty pull. We could have done uh, EVA at the poles if we uh, had a stable orbit. Can you land that near of the base? Uh, are you talking about the KSC? Because mm, we're not hitting the KSC this time. I don't, well, uh, well, we'll see. Plenty of fuel left. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I checked my fuel situation. I go, well, maybe we could do something. But it depends how this air breaks us. Yeah, we'll see how the apoapsis turns out. And uh, then we can wait for rotation, like you said, Atman. Actually, this doesn't look uh, too serious. It hasn't brought us down very much. I thought I'd do more. We may end up with an orbit that works. One problem with the calculation is that... Oh, oh we do have the time. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, the stuff is overheating, according to this, but not very much. This uh, F10 overlay. Okay, well, this is a fairly generous orbit. I think... Let's see. Uh, it looks like uh, the KSC is about a quarter of the planet's rotation. And that means we should be in orbit that's an hour and a half. So if we're shorter than that, we will uh, we'll end up on in the ocean beside the KSC. I'm gonna flip around. I'm gonna boost it up. So I'm actually gonna try to get into uh, orbit that'll get us in the right location on the next pass. So I'm not going to raise my periapsis. Okay, so let's try this. So far, so good. Yeah, but now we've got the where exactly here. I mean, now we've got the north-south problem. We've got the east-west part sort of licked. But north-south is, is tricky. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm debating whether to dump my service module I guess I'd better I don't want to risk it it could blow up okay Valentina hold it retrograde please uh, see Valentina that's all you need to do Valentina why did you have to have it shaking all over the place we might uh, I hope it brings us all the way down I don't want to have to go around again. It, it looks like it will. But I think we're going to end up north. Uh, hopefully not north up here, though. There's that mountain there. <laughs> I don't want to hit that mountain. Oh, boy. Yeah, we, we've gone way past the KSC, north-south-wise. And we, we're on a bad trajectory here. I don't know if we can do lifting body stuff with uh, the pod. I mean, of course, in real life, they have the pods enter at an angle to get some lift. Um, okay, uh, we are... Come on, past the mountains. Past the mountains. There's those mountains, too. I don't think those are particularly friendly for Valentina, either. So I want to pass these and miss those. Come on. Tumble down a hill on landing. It'll be fun. Okay, I want to hit this valley if possible. <laughs> KSC engineers look up and watch Val. Val, Val, bring ice cream from Minmus. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I, I wasn't going to... 
Well, it's borderline, but I think I got the parachute at the right time. Or a good time, anyway. Uh, this is still rough ground, though. Ah, uh, it's a lot rougher when you get closer to it, isn't it? I think it'll be alright, though. Wow. Well, uh, SAS on. Okay, yeah, alright. No rolling down the hills. Okay, um, 215.7 signs turn. Well, that's, that's serious stuff from Valentina right there. Uh, parts, okay, well, 90, 90%, 90%, still an A. Uh, okay, and Valentina gained 4 experience to advance to level 2. Alright, so Valentina's back to being our most experienced Kerbal pilot. And the next thing is to plant a flag on the moon.